please subscribe. Buick's new luxury positioning has prompted it to experiment with some novel ideas, such as being one of the first brands to introduce an upscale subcompact crossover with the Encore as well as building its next trunk up and vision SUV in China. More unusual is the wheeled platypus that is the new for 2018 Regal Sportback, a Germany-built four-door with the sleek silhouette of a sedan and the capacious cargo area of a hatchback. Decently refined, undeniably practical, and with style to spare, the Sportback, at least in its more modest front-wheel drive form, is compelling in ways that the previous Regal sedan never was. Sharing much of its platform with the latest Chevrolet Malibu, the shapely Regal is larger yet lighter than before, with more accommodating rear quarters. While both the Buick and the Chevy have a strut suspension up front and a multi-link setup at the rear, the Regal's chassis has been modified to accommodate its optional torque vectoring all-wheel drive system, a $2,000 extra on preferred 2 and S in trim levels and standard on the V6-only Regal GS. At 3,426 pounds, our front drive, Essence level test car weighed 119 pounds more than a comparable Malibu 2.0T at 596 less than the previous Regal GS with all-wheel drive, a turbo 4, and an automatic. Regardless of configuration, the Regal Sportback is a fetching assemblage of flowing lines and elegant creases, handsome but not pretentious. And its wide hatchback portal is nicely integrated into the design. While the maximum versatility award goes to the full wagon Regal Turks, the Sportback's cargo hold will swallow 32 cubic feet of stuff, roughly doubling the trunk space of most mid-sized sedans. Drop the 40-20-40 split folding rear seat found in top versions, base and preferred trim levels make do with a 60-40 split, to open up an almost flat load floor and a big 61 cubes of storage space. However, without any power opening or closing mechanism, accessing that space requires manually lifting and shutting the bulky lift gate, with its large integrated piece of glass, it is considerably heavier than a regular trunk lid. Except for the range topping GS, all Regal Sportbacks are powered by a turbocharged 2.0-liter and line 4 making 250 horsepower. Whereas maximum torque is 295 pounds to foot at 3000 revs on all wheel drive versions, front drivers are detuned to 260 pounds to foot at 2000 revolutions per minute. The reduced amount of twist indeed results in little tugging at the wheel under hard acceleration, but the front contact patches do scrabble for traction when the driver punches the throttle from a dead stop. Front driver goals also feature a smartly tuned 9-speed automatic transmission in place of the 8-speed unit currently fitted to all-wheel drive, non-GS models, Buick says it will eventually phase in the 9-speed on all versions. Despite the implication of the Sportback nameplate, the Regal is less athletic than it is pleasantly competent. Effort from the electrically assisted steering is light and loading up the chassis and corners engenders a precise if muted conversation with the driver. The cushy suspension irons out broken pavement well, even on our test car's 18-inch wheels fitted with 245-45 or 18 Continental Pro Contact TX all-season tires, 17-inchers are standard on lower trims, but at the expense of some body roll at the limit. Despite the Regal's European roots, it's essentially a risk and Opel insignia, its role as a Buick is of a composed cruiser. However, it doesn't do a great job of isolating road noise, impacts are often heard more than felt. At the track, our test car clung to the skid pad with 0.87 grams of lateral grip and minimal understeer, a solid performance. As with many new R General Motors vehicles, the Sportback's brake pedal is pleasingly firm and easy to modulate and its fade-free stop from 70 miles per hour required just 162 feet, two feet shorter than the best we've seen from Audi's far pricey Ray 5 Sportback. Most Regal buyers should be more than content with the front drive Sportback's softer dynamics as well as its solid straight-line performance. 
The 2.0-liter revs smoothly and with little lag from the turbo. Although non-GS regals do without selectable driving modes and the 9-speed generally upshifts to top gear as quickly and smoothly as possible, the gearbox is quick to issue kickdowns in response to throttle inputs. The sprint from 50 to 70 miles per hour happens in a respectable 4.0 seconds. Our test car also reached 60 miles per hour in a competitive 5.6 seconds and covered the quarter mile in 14.2 at 101 miles per hour. Our quickest runs were accomplished with the 9 speed in its automatic mode, which Buick's engineers curiously calibrated to skip third gear under heavy throttle applications because the ratio changed from second is so small. Third gear is employed only in gentle driving or when using the transmission's manual mode. But the ratio changed from second is indeed almost unnoticeable and, when trying to drive quickly, it's nearly impossible to avoid colliding with the fuel cut off in third. Its track results put the Regal on pace with more expensive competitors such as the Acura TLX V6 SHAWD and the BMW 430i X-Drive Grand Coupe, both of which posted similar acceleration times despite lugging around their heavier all-wheel drive systems. A more direct comparison is to the Excel and 2018 Honda Accord with its optional 252 horsepower turbo 2.0 liter engine and 10 speed automatic. A polished 10 best cars winning sedan that weighs within a few pounds of the Regal, the Accord 2.0T is more enjoyable to drive and return similar performance numbers, save for a 70 mile per hour stop that was 8 feet longer. The front drive Honda and Buick share the same EPA fuel economy figures, 22 miles per gallon city, 32 miles per gallon highway, and both average 24 miles per gallon in our testing. All-wheel drive regals are rated 1 mile per gallon less in the city and 3 less on the highway. The Accord, however, bettered the Sportback's 31 miles per gallon on our 75 mile per hour highway test loop by 4 miles per gallon. The inside of the Sportback is airy and inoffensive, with familiar GM switchgear and ample room for four occupants, although headroom for the middle rear seat rider can be limited. The Regal's front seats are relatively soft and offer moderate lateral but surprisingly aggressive thigh support, and an actual mechanical shift lever adorns the center console instead of the funky joystick Buick fits to some of its models. Noise levels are decently hushed. 75 decibels at full throttle and 70 decibels at the 70 mile per hour cruise, if not as quiet as in a more expensive Audi or BMW. However, the Buick interior's clean, sweeping design layout, while ergonomically sound, borders on bland, and a mix of mediocre plastics on the steering wheel, center console, and lower door panels looks and feels low rent. Here, too, the Humble Accord's latest uptick in refinement makes a stronger showing. Although pricing for the Sportback and its base, cloth only one SV trim starts at just $25,915, the top level essence model seen here raises the entry point to $32,695 and piles on the standard kit, including leather upholstery. 8-way power adjustable and heated front seats, a heated steering wheel, a 4.2-inch color display in the gauge cluster, and Buick's 8.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system, a 7.0-inch RIS standard, featuring Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a 4G LTE data connection with Wi-Fi. Inflating our cars as tested price to $35,615 was $395 for dark moon blue metallic paint, the $945 sights and sounds package, navigation and a premium Bose audio system, that frustratingly also replaces the standard spare tire with an inflator kit and the $1,580 driver confidence package I, LED headlights, rear parking assist, rear cross traffic alert, lane change and blind spot alerts, a wireless charging pad, 4-way lumber front seat adjustments, and memory settings for the driver's seat and the heated exterior mirrors. Active safety features, such as adaptive cruise control and automated emergency braking, cost extra as part of the $1,090 driver confidence package too that our car didn't have. The Regal's relaxed ride, 
dashing looks, and pleasant driving behavior bode well for Buick's quest to broaden its appeal. We'd question spending much more than our test car's price for its near luxury finish, but the Sportback's graceful design and hatchback versatility are compelling virtues at any of its trim levels.